Hey everyone! So, most of the time I do book reviews and the occasional game reviews. Um, however, this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, and the reason why is because lately I've had a lot of people come up to me and tell me that they are interested in uh, getting a cat. But they're too worried about not being able to take care of the cat or not being able to give enough time to said cat. So I figured I would tell you guys how easy it is to actually take care of cats um, and just give you a little bit of you know help in allowing you to make a decision whether or not cats are something for you or not. So sorry but the camera's gonna move a bit. Okay so sorry if my room is a mess but that's why. That's Chrissy. She is a short-haired cat. She's 11 years old and she is half Siamese, half tabby. She's a real sweetie. <clears throat> so a lot of people like cats that have nice personalities. And that's Janet, who is a full tabby. She's female, which is rare for tabby cats, especially orange tabby cats. Um, and she has a bit of a temper, so that can be the opposite side on not wanting to get a cat. Right? But, here's the thing. Here's where things get simple. If you provide cats with toys, they love you. Right? There are mouse toys in there, tennis balls, random little toys that they find on their own. You don't need to provide them with toys, however, because they'll just find everything else to play with, like a hair tie. You name it, they'll find it. But clearly, they love their toys, and they will get everywhere, no matter how much you try and clean it up. Right? And there are also things like this. String toys, so, you know, all kinds of toys. Um, but keep in mind that a lot of cat toys have catnip in it. Which, for most cats, that's fine, but there are some cats, like Chrissy, who can't actually have catnip toys, so just keep that in mind. Um, also, there are tons and tons of different types of cat food. I pre use Iams cat food, right? This is for Chrissy. This is regular Iams cat food. And this is for Janet. This is diet cat food, if you hadn't noticed. She's a little overweight, but it works, right? All you have to do is, well, it gives you directions on how much to feed them, so it's a no-brainer, really. Um, so there's that, if you want to follow. This is actually too much food for my cats. It's the same on each bag. But uh, you, you just kind of kind of figure out how much they can take. Also... This is another good thing to feed your cats. They're little treats, um, and it's good for their teeth because it will help get rid of plaque. Um, which, when you take cats to the vet, the vet will then tell you that, hey, you should go get all the plaque scraped off of your cat's teeth, which will cost over $1,000, so those, those treats are good. Um, and as Chrissy is demonstrating, you know, things like this are great if you have cats with claws, which I do. Um, you can get them declawed, but if your cats are indoors, like mine are, you don't really want to do that. Well, sorry. If they're indoors, you can get them declawed, but you need to make sure that they stay indoors. Um, but if you're going to let them outside, you should probably leave the claws so that they can have some self-defense. Also, if you have outdoor cats, you don't have to feed them as much because they'll feed themselves. So keep that in mind. Um, always have a water supply, which is not very hard to do, right? Um, there are different types of bowls. You can just get a regular bowl, or you could get something like that that has a large source of water. Or you could get water fountains that will circulate the water, which I actually want to get, but they are expensive, so something to also keep in mind. Um, 
And another thing that should be your friend, really, is cat brushes. Right? This is a nice one because you can press this button and it'll push the fur out. It's easy to clean. Um, you especially want the brushes if you have long-haired cats because they will get mats. Um, which you might want to consider getting a mat brush. Which I don't actually have in here right now, but that's okay. Um, they're really easy to find. Um, that's, that's really about it. If you provide them with toys, they can entertain themselves. Yes, they're going to want some love and attention, and yes, they will come up to you when they want food in particular. Um, but otherwise, they'll come up to you when they want attention, even if you don't want to give them attention at the time. But for the most part, cats are pretty solitary creatures. Um, I've had Janet and Chrissy since they were kittens, and they're 11 years old now. Um, for indoor cats, the only thing that you really need to train them how to do is how to use the litter box, and all you need to do for that is leave them in a closed room, like a bathroom, for a couple of days with the litter pan so that they get used to the idea of going in the litter pan. And cats love to dig, so it really isn't going to take very much for them to figure out that's where the litter pan is, that's where they're going to go. And there are all different kinds of litter. You can get whatever you want. It doesn't matter on the brand. So if you need to go cheap, go cheap. If you want something that will deodorize or whatnot and you want to spend a little bit more, go for it. It's really... It's really easy to take care of cats. I'm not saying that cats are for everyone, but I personally love them. Um, so, yeah. Um, if, but do keep in mind, if you're going to have more than one cat, um, you should make sure that they're used to each other and that they'll be okay with each other. Because if you try and introduce multiple cats together, it doesn't always work. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you have one cat, generally speaking, they're going to want more attention. I have two, so whenever I'm not home, they have each other and they have toys. Uh, but 90% of the time, they're going to be sleeping. So, you know, like you saw with my cat, that's what they do. They sleep a lot with random bursts of energy. Um, yeah, oh, and another thing to keep in mind is that um, generally, this is not all the time, but generally... If you have indoor cats, they will live longer than outdoor cats because outdoor cats get exposed to more viruses and whatnot. Even if you take them to the vet, they're still going to get exposed to more things, and then there's just the simple risk of getting run over by a car. Sorry, but it happens. Um, but generally, um, indoor cats will live from 15 to 20 years, sometimes even 25 Um Outdoor cats don't tend to live that long, so keep that in mind, um, that cats are generally, you know, they can be considered a long-term pet, and you just need to be aware of that. Some animals like fish don't last very long, so yeah, this is definitely an animal that you really should think about before you uh, decide to bring home. But other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory. Pet stores have cats. Um, I would recommend you get them from Humane Society um, just because, you know, they need a home and they're usually really friendly most of the time. I got Janet and Chrissy from the Humane Society, so I'm, I'm really happy with them. No inbreeding, anything like that, so. And it's just, it's nice to get them out and into homes because then otherwise you're risking having them get put down because nobody is taking them in, so. Yeah, but that's about it. Uh, I hope this is informative, and I hope it helps you guys out a bit. If not, well, sorry. I guess cats aren't for you. Bye!